Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do a class that focuses on building balance and strength. So we're going to flow through uh, a variation on the sun salutation, move into some tricky standing poses, and then on the floor, continuing a bit of core work. So I hope you enjoy. Let's start on the hands and knees in tabletop pose. So we're going to move through a few rounds of cat cow. So inhale, look up. Exhale, take the gaze to the navel and reach the spine to the sky. Push the floor away with the hands. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Take your attention to the spine. Feel each vertebra, observe any sensations, feel the inhale of breath, feel the exhale. This time as you exhale, actively suck the abdominals in and up like the belly's pushing the breath out. Two more like that. So we're starting to engage the core. Now circle the body over the wrists and take it round a few times in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Just warming up the shoulders. Now press back into the right bum cheek. Take it round, press back into the left bum cheek. Same again, right bum cheek and left bum cheek. Come back to center, tuck the left toes and extend the right leg, straight and strong through the leg, sucking and up on the abs. Exhale, draw that knee to the navel, round. Extend and round. Press down through the right hand, an option to extend the left hand, either staying still or squeezing elbow to knee, just for three, two, and three. Release, same thing, second side. Took the right toes, extend the left leg. Engage with the core and then exhale, draw the knee to navel. Press down through the left hand, extend the right arm, stay in here or squeeze elbow to knee. Two. And three. Release. Come into a downward dog. Walk it out. Step the left foot in, lift the right leg, and then take the right foot over to the left, just opening up here, bending the right leg at the knee. Right leg comes down, lift left leg, bend the left leg, open up to the right. Exhale. Walk the feet to the front of the mat. Then inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's start working on the balance more now. So we're going to inhale, rise up on the toes, squeeze the legs together, reach the hands overhead, staying on the toes, exhale and fold forward just halfway. Then release the feet down, fold forward. Look forward, inhale, rise up halfway, come up onto the toes, take the hands overhead, exhale, hands to heart centre. Really tricky. Like, really, I find that harder than a lot of advanced balances. Inhale, well, I say advanced, but you know, advanced for me. Inhale, rise up on the toes, reach the hands high, lengthen, stretch, strong in the legs. Exhale, fold forward, still on the tippy toes, coming down halfway. Then release the heels down, hands to the mat, fold into it. Inhale, rising up, come up halfway. 
then pop back onto the toes, squeeze the legs together, lost my balance, reach up high and release. Last one, <laughs> inhale, onto the tippy toes, reach up high. If you wanna get really advanced here, you can look up at the hands, exhale, folding forward, coming down halfway, squeeze the legs together, release the hands down to the mat, fold, keep sucking the abdominals in and up on the exhale. Inhale, lengthening, coming up halfway, pop back up onto those toes, squeeze the legs together, reach up high, energize, give gazing up a go and release. Pause, take a breath. We're going to incorporate that into some chaturangas now. There's the option to just jump straight back into chaturanga, but we'll do it the normal way first and then I'll give you the options. We're only doing three. So take a second, to the tailbone, feel the body. Inhale, rise up on the tippy toes, straight and strong. Exhale, folding forward, halfway. Drop the heels, hands come to the mat, bend the knees. Then inhale, look forward, you're still on your tippy toes here. Then exhale, let's all jump back into plank. Pause, chaturanga, rise up, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Inhale, suck the abdominals in and up. Try jumping forward, even if you don't usually, just halfway at first, or all the way through. On the tippy toes, look forward. Exhale, staying on the tippy toes. And rising up. Whoa, I nearly hit my head on that shelf. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do two more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, folding forward, staying on the tippy toes, bend the knees. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step up or jump back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three controlled centering breaths here. Remember, you've always got the option to come into child's pose. If that feels like it will serve you better today, just go ahead, drop the knees. Keep pressing the floor away. Keep sucking the abdominals in and up, jumping it forward. On to the tippy toes. Look forward. Exhale, staying on the toes. Rising up. Option to look up and come to center. Okay, one more of those. Inhale, rising up. Exhale. Folding forward, staying on the tippy toes. Bend the knees, look forward. Step up or jump into plank, straight into chaturanga, your choice. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, downward facing dog, three controlled breaths. Energize from fingertips to toes. Suck the abdominals in and up. Jump it forward, landing on the toes. Look forward. Exhale. And inhale, rising up. Squeeze the legs together. Staying on the tippy toes, reach up high and release. Take a breath. Now, step the right leg back into your High lunge. Find the balance. If that feels good. Try coming up 
onto the left toes. Inhale, rise up, squeeze the left glute. Exhale, melting down. Inhale, energize strong through the pelvic floor, rise up. Exhaling down. Just two more, focused and strong. Spine long. Staying on that left tippy toe, engage the, uh, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Staying here or straightening up the arms, dropping that left heel, folding forward, not all the way down, just forward and lengthen the spine. Feel like someone's pulling the head and pulling the hips, so you're long in that spine. Exhale here. And start to play with warrior three. I shouted that, didn't I? Drop the right foot, rise up, or option, just to stay here for three breaths. Bend the left knee, kick the right leg to the left behind you, and drop the toes, come into a little side squat. Inhale, lift the right leg back up. Option to have the foot just hover from the floor. Inhale, back up. Oh, should we do two more? I can really feel that in my left glute. Four, last one and five come back up take the hands down standing splits take a breath here option to roll that right hip open keeping both hands on the floor or take your attention to the core lift the right hand high to the sky coming into your half moon Exhale, left hand down. Right foot meets the left. We're always going to do this little tippy toe jump back today. So inhale, look forward. And exhale, step up or jump straight back into chaturanga or plank then chaturanga. Exhale, downward dog. Just two breaths. Right foot forward this time. Come into your lunge. Find the balance. See how this side feels. Option to rise up on the right toes. Inhale, rise. Exhale, grounding down. Engaging the right glute. There's two. Three. Four. And five. Interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together, option to straighten the arms, take a breath. Exhale, drop the right heel, fold. Lengthen the spine. Begin to play with coming into warrior three or staying in warrior three. Bend the right knee, kick the left leg out to the left. Toes can make contact with the floor, take a little squat. Inhale, rise up. Warrior three. Or toes can just hover. It's up to you. Rise up. Two. Three. Four, I'm really having to focus here today. Woo! And five. Fold it forward. Stand in splits. <sighs> Release. Option, roll that left hip open. Staying with both hands down or coming up into... Half moon on this side, breathe. And 
left foot meets the right. Come down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, ground the hands. Jump it back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Two breaths. Inhale. Lift the right foot high to the sky. Engage the right glute. Draw the right knee to the right armpit. Then roll over onto the side of the left foot. Coming into side plank. Keeping that right leg bent. If that's too much, drop the knees. Come down onto the hips. One. Smile. Two. And three. Chaturanga. Rise up. Down dog. Two breaths. Come back into plank, left foot lifts high, left knee, left armpit, roll open to the right. You can always take the foot behind you as well to support the body or keep the knee bent, pause and breathe. Remember, just do what feels good for you today. Always can drop the hips here and exhale. Last chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Take three breaths. Walk the feet into the center. Bend the knees, look up. Exhale, curl into a little ball here. Release any tension in the neck. Inhale, look up. Exhale, curl into a little ball. Next one, exhale through the mouth. Exhale. Suck the abdominals in and up. Squeeze the legs together. Connect with your inner fire, your inner heat. And rise up. Exhale. Step, pop, or jump the legs out to the side. I'm going to come into our goddess pose now. Take a nice comfy squat. Stay in here. Or you can pop up onto the toes if that feels okay for you. You might want to take a slightly shorter stance if you're on the toes. Engage the core. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, left hand reaches, oh, no, right hand reaches over to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, left hand reaches over to the right. Just flowing here to the rhythm of your breath. Keep the legs straight and strong. Not straight, sorry. Keep the legs engaged and strong. Last one. Really lift up on that pelvic floor. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, coming down. So you're squatting down to the right, left legs extended, fingertips supported. Suck the abdominals in and up. Lift up on the pelvic floor and transfer to the left. You can keep doing this and maybe lift the hands if that feels good. Just flowing here a few times from side to side. Just four, three, two, and one. Take the hands down. Bring the toes in towards each other a bit. Pasarita Padottanasana. Fold, hang, chin slightly tucked to protect the neck. Take three breaths. Three calm. Centering breaths. Mm. 
Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale here. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, step up or jump the feet together. Pause, take a breath. <sighs> Tree pose. So I want you to try just taking the foot just above the ankle. Left foot rises, right leg strong. Ground down through the foot. Feel the entire foot connecting with the mat. Leg strong, tailbone tucked. Suck the abs in and up, drop the shoulders down. And then close your eyes. This is so challenging. And open the eyes. Now bring the foot to wherever feels comfortable for you. Hug the leg and the foot together. Hands to heart center. Reach the hands high if that feels good. Maybe you're blown in the wind. So reaching over to the left a bit. Center, exhale to the right. Center, option take it back. And come to center, hands together at the heart. Option to close the eyes here, just for three breaths. Three and release. Same thing, second side. Might wanna just circle the right ankle for a second. Then bring the right foot just above the left ankle. Hands to heart center. Ground down through the left foot. Connect with the sole of the left foot to the tailbone. Engage the core, lengthen the spine. Hands to heart center. An option to close the eyes. Now bringing that right foot to wherever feels good for you. Whoa. Hug the foot and the thigh together. Hands to heart center. Option to reach up high. Option to have a little play, stretching left, stretching right. Maybe even take it back. Hands to heart center. Maybe close the eyes. And release. Ah, I really enjoyed that. Okay, so we are going to come down now onto the mat. And we're gonna have a little play that's, yeah, I'll face this way to begin with. Just a really gentle variation on boat pose. So take the hands behind you. Try and lengthen the spine as much as possible and actively suck the abdominals in and up and just lift the feet. Feel that. Rock forward on the bum cheeks so you're just on the fingertips. Really squeeze the knees in so there's as little space as possible between the knees and the torso and then extend the arms and just stay here for a minute as long as you can in the spine or keep the fingertips behind you if that feels better and we're just going to shift one leg out extend and then the other the leg that comes in try and bring it as close to the body as possible try and keep the spine as long and straight as possible If you need to take the fingertips back behind you, do so. But try and feel that point of balance. So you're squeezing in and you're as upright as possible. Keeps engaging those lower abs. Last one. Now, come to butterfly. 
Inhale, lengthen the spine, it's fell fold. Take a breath here. Lay yourself fully relaxed just for a moment. Now as you inhale, breathe in new energy, lengthen the spine. An option to just lift the feet. So first two fingers are clasping the big toes. Exhale, rock it back. Ooh, just lift the feet. Just stay in there. Or option two. Extend the legs, keeping the knees bent or straighten them. Wherever you are, suck the abdominals in and up, lengthen that spine so you've got the same sensation that we just had in the previous pose. As long in the spine as possible and as little space between the legs and body as possible. Option, exhale, bring the heels together, open up. One, two, nice and slow, three, four, last one, five, and release. Ah, well done. Fingertips behind you. Open the shoulders, take a breath. Either coming into your tabletop or legs extended. Wherever you are, inhale, rise up. Exhale, inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, folding forward. Just relaxing into the pose. If you like, palms can be up, feet can fall open, head can hang heavy. Just let everything go here. Or you can keep the pose active as you inhale, feel like the spine is lengthening. And as you exhale, melt a little bit deeper into the pose. Just three more deep breaths. Inhale, rising up. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Either coming into Shavasana or taking a comfortable cross-legged position. We'll just take a few centering breaths together, but please stay in meditation or Shavasana for as long as feels good for you. Okay. <sighs> Wherever you are, palms turn up. Take your attention to the space in between the eyebrows and inhale into that space. As you exhale, allow the body to relax. This time, inhale, breathe deeper. And exhale, relax more. Inhale. Exhale, letting go of any tension. Maybe allow a gentle smile to come across the face. And as you inhale, imagine new energy filling the body. Each inhale, bringing energy and lightness to every cell in the body. Breathing in new life. And exhale, relaxing deeply. Please stay here for as long as you can. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's class. Please subscribe, 
share, all that good stuff. Thank you so much. Namaste.